everyone, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here, I'm Christine and today's project I'm really excited for because a couple weeks ago I shared a video sharing what I had made for my vacation and one of the pieces that I, that I shared was this little pajama set that I made and specifically these little tulip shorts. This was a hack, a pattern hack that I had done to get this tulip effect. And I just wanna say, I always appreciate so much your comments. They totally make my day. And the comments between here on YouTube and over on Instagram were definitely a big yes to see a tutorial about how to do this tulip hack. So that's what we're gonna to do today. Before we dive in, I just wanted to share that I'm wearing my Rivington t-shirt pattern that I had also done a little pattern hack to adding just a small placket here and then six pearl buttons on the shoulder. Something really simple you can do to kind of jazz up a simple t-shirt. So I love this tulip pack because it gives your legs free range of motion. So I love wearing these around the house when I'm working in the kitchen, bending over, getting things in low cabinets. It does none of the fabric pulls on your legs. So I love these also for um, fetal position sleeping, which I do, they are really, really comfortable. So I have this pair that I made from an old vintage pillowcase. Um, I have this pair that I, uh, that I made using this. This was a Minerva project and the fabric is actually synthetic. So it's not super comfortable for me to wear. Um, but I love, love, love the color combo. I love how these turned out with the, the lace edging. Um, I show all of the lace techniques as well as like the baby hem, all kinds of lingerie and lounger techniques in my course Lux loungewear. Um, and then I also have this pair that I made several years ago and I've kind of worn the heck out of, but I wanted to show you also the lace that I did along here. Um, these have held up so well and I absolutely just love, love, love wearing them. So lots of different finishes, color combinations that you can do using this hack. So today we're going to be working with my Lennox pattern, which is, it comes with these shorts, a cami, as well as a romper. Um, so the shorts normally are, they're not super short, but they do have the side seam as well as a pocket option. Um, so we're going to be eliminating the side seam all together using this hack. So you can use any little shorty pattern. I'll definitely drop the link to the Lennox if you want to check it out as well. So this fabric was an old pillowcase that I picked up. Um, and have to be honest, I've picked up a few more along the way. Um, so I have this one, which I showed in my last video. I really, really love it. I think it's pretty. Um, this one, which I also showed in my last video, it's just a really soft yellow roses and the fabric is really soft too. This one is a new one I just picked up. Uh, I love kind of the green and the 70s feel. I think it's really fun. Uh, this one as well definitely has kind of that 70s feel. It's very happy and bright. Love that. Um, this one, I love these colors. These are good for fall, kind of the oranges, burnt, uh, kind of sienna color, yellows, flowers. And then this one, uh, this little toile one that I picked up. I love the navy, um, just feels really, really kind of beautiful and antique. So I have lots of fabric options. These are uh, the, I think it's considered a European sized pillow sham. So probably double the fabric of a US pillowcase, I would say. So if you don't find a pillowcase, you can also just pick up a beautiful soft like Batiste or Voile um, or even some Silkies. Um, any really any soft cotton fabric will work beautifully. So to do this hack, we're going to just need some extra paper. You can use tissue paper. Um, you can use, you know, extra roll paper you have, a brown paper bag if you have it. So really any kind of scrap paper, quite large though. And then you'll definitely need a, you know, pencil or a pen and a tape measure. So the first thing that we're going to do is take our tissue paper and we're going to trace around our pattern. So here I've done it in a marker just so we can see a little bit better on the camera, um, but you could do this with a pencil or a pen. So all I've done is just lay out my, uh, my tissue paper 
and laid down my pattern, and then I've just traced around the entire outer edge. It's important to note though, because uh, we're going to be adding a bit of fabric here on this side seam edge of both of our front and our back. So you wanna make sure that when you trace this, you leave a little bit of extra tissue paper on this side. So that'll give us the room to add our tulip. Then there's a few markings that we're gonna to need to mark onto our new tissue pattern piece. So the first one I'm going to mark in is my 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance along the top edge. So I'm uh, marking in the side seam 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. So all I did was just line up my ruler with my seam allowance on the side and just marked in my marking. This is an important marking because this is where we're going to match up uh, our tulips. And so this is really an important one to mark in. Then we're gonna to need to mark a halfway point along the bottom edge of our leg opening. So I've just kind of eyeballed this. I said, okay, from here to here, this is about halfway, and I drew in my marking. You can also do it more uh, exact with a ruler, marking in the exact halfway point. We're going to use this point to start the curve of our tulip. So it, it doesn't have to be exact, just roughly halfway, and that's where we're gonna actually start our curve. So the last marking we're gonna to need to mark in is our green line. So all I've done, because my tissue paper is sheer, I've just moved it underneath my tissue paper and lined it up again, and then I've just traced in with my ruler, just traced over my, um, my grain line. So three markings, seam allowance, midpoint on the leg, and our grain line. I'm going to do the exact same thing to my front pattern piece. This was my back. So I will trace this out, and then we'll move to the next step. traced around my back and added my markings. Now we need to add our tulip extensions to the front and back. So I'm gonna start with my back piece. So I'm just smoothing out my pattern. Um, and what we're gonna do is from the waistline, we're actually just going to extend the waistline out. On the back, we're going to do it seven inches, which is 18 centimeters. So all I'm doing is just lining up my ruler um, or my tape measure, I can use whichever one, and I'm gonna make a mark right at the 18 centimeters or my seven, um, my seven inch point. So I'm just taking seven inches from my side seam out, just extending the waistline. So then what I can do is just continue this line out, and there we go. So this is what we have now. We've extended this seven inches, and then eventually in the next step, we're going to connect this to this in a curved way, and that's gonna give us our tulip. But first we have to mark our front pattern piece. So with the front, we're going to extend our waistline three inches, which is about seven and a half centimeters. So I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with my back. I'm just going to make a marking at the seven and a half centimeters, or three inches just right out from my waistband or my waistline. And then I will connect this line just extending our waistline out. So there is our new marking. So that is three inches, uh, seven and a half centimeters. Okay, so now our next step is we get to create the curve that connects our waistline to our midpoint of our leg. So I'm gonna use a pencil here um, to sketch in my line first before I draw it permanently. Um, but what I'm gonna do is just kind of make this tulip, um, this curve. So I'm just gonna kind of start just drawing. Hmm, that's pretty good in the first, the first pass. So I'll just kind of, um, you know, smooth out this part just a bit. Um, but that looks pretty good. Let me just draw this in. I'll draw it in with green um, so we can see it a little bit better. So I'm just drawing this curve, smoothing it out at the bottom. So that's going to be my tulip curve. Um, I think this, in general, is the shape that you're that you want. You could maybe bring it in just a little bit less of a round there, but I kind of like this round curve. So that's what I'm going to go with. 
So this is kind of where your creativity and your, um, it doesn't have to be exact, like this is just um, how you're forming your tulip. So now I'm gonna do the same thing to my back piece. Okay, so the back is just a bit more challenging because we have a much larger extension on our waistline. So I'm gonna take this like that. So let's sketch this in first. So then I'm actually going to bring it, I think, just bring it down a little bit further. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Um, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to just draw this in, draw my final line. This will be my cutting line for my tulip shorts. Okay, so we're going to cut right along this green line. I'm gonna eliminate all of this so this green line becomes our new side cutting line. Okay, so now I have my back pattern piece and my front pattern piece. And now we can start to see how we're going to align these, um, our side seam seam allowance markings that we marked in. And that's gonna be where we're going to match up our tulips. So now you can start to see how we're creating this really cool effect. Um, so I'm going to cut out my fabric and get this ready to sew. Okay, so I have gone ahead and cut out my front and my back and my waistband, and I've sewn the front to back at the inseam. So I've sewn this seam right here, which has created our crotch, and it's allowed us to have this big open one piece. So our, uh, our back and then our front. And I've finished the edges with an edging lace. So you could finish this with a narrow hem, um, with your lace, however you prefer. I love the lace in this tulip effect because it's just, it's just so pretty. So now what we're going to do is match up those notches that we cut along our waist line. So the where we um, where we made a notch at our 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance before we added the tulip part, these notches were going to match. So I'm going to take each of my leg pieces and I'm going to just kind of fold it along that inseam just to sort of get uh, get the start. Then I'm going to just take find my first notch. So this is my back notch and I'm going to just match it up with my front notch. So then you can see that forms our leg. So, so I'm just going to pin this in, matching those notches up right along my waistline there. So we have this. So that is how it should look at this point. And we can kind of see it like that. So we have our tulip coming forward. This is the front our tulip coming forward, and then this side, it's so pretty, and then this is our back. So on my back piece, the tulip is actually underneath. So now what I can do is just go along the top and I'm just going to um, baste this together, and then we can make the finish making the shorts just as we normally would. So I have my other side here already pinned, and so then I would just sew the crotch, sew the waistband, and our tulip shorts are done. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful and gets you excited to try this tulip hack. And I'll be back next week with a, I think, with another video sharing how I do my side seam pockets using my serger for a really, really, really neat finish. It's a really simple technique that I'm excited to share. So if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.